And in light of the International Day for Maternal Health and Rights 2024, medical professionals have shed light on the current state of maternal health in Nigeria and its socio-economic determinants and implications. These discussions took place at the Safer Hands Initiative. She held summit held in Lagos. Our reporter has more. During the summit, esteemed medical professionals emphasized the need to address the alarming maternal mortality rate in Nigeria. In 2019, the country recorded a decline of 1.15% in maternal mortality, with the rate standing at 1,122. The experts delved into the causes of this issue and propose strategies to combat it effectively. One crucial aspect highlighted by these professionals was the improvement of healthcare services in rural areas. By enhancing access to quality healthcare in remote regions, the maternal health statistics in Nigeria can be positively impacted. I think most importantly, the reason why we have that high maternal mortalities in Nigeria is number one, the fact that Nigeria is almost predominantly rural. We have about 46.8% 46 of the total population of Nigeria being rural. And majority of these statistics actually come from those rural areas. We'll find out that in the end, maternal mortality is not so bad in the urban areas. But in the rural areas, that's where you know they are being supervised by community birth attendants. And that's where you know they are not, they don't have access to good healthcare services. And that, you know, sprout the maternal mortality rates that we have. So in order to improve that, we need to ensure that, you know, a lot of things come together to take these health services to those rural areas, focus on these women in the rural areas, help to enlighten women and let them understand the importance of, you know, working together with their healthcare workers to ensure that in the end, like I said, the woman and the mother are safe. And the government has a role to play as well in ensuring that these rural areas also have access to urban health care like we do in the urban centers? Our health indices are poor in Nigeria. Maternal mortality rate is quite high. And that's not a very good picture at all. And that's why we thought it fit to put this program together so that we bring critical stakeholders together to talk about the matter and see what we can do to ensure that maternal health is improved in Nigeria. Maternal health care is improved in Nigeria. All the stakeholders are to be involved. If you observe, one of our sub-themes has to do with community-based health attenders. These are people at the grassroots, that relate with people at the grassroots, that offer them health care where they cannot reach urban areas, where there are orthodox hospitals. So one of the ways we can um, ensure that the, the message goes out is to bring these people on board, train them, upskill them in the right way of handling pregnant women and um, infants so that the outcome of a pregnancy and childbirth will be much better than we already have it. The Safer Hands initiative aims to empower women with the message that every woman has the right to leave, receive adequate health care and safely deliver her baby. As the country commemorates the International Day for Maternal Health and Rights, it is imperative to prioritize the well-being of mothers in rural areas. We have to have a multi-pronged approach to curbing maternal mortality. We have to look at the different factors that affect it, including the health system factors, um, lack of healthcare personnel, uh, lack of um, hospitals and training and equipment. We also have to look at um, the socio-economic determinants, which are really big, including poverty, lack of education and cultural issues. And finally, we have to look at gender inequality. It's, no, it's a no-brainer if a woman um, does not have the choice over what she does with her health or her body, and she's not allowed to go to hospital unless she gets permission. All those things would definitely lead to increased death. So a combination of all those things, if we can ensure that um, in the governance level, more resources are allocated to the health sector, um, 5% at the moment is good, but it's, 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 not, it's acceptable, but it needs to be much better. Um, and also uh, planning the hospitals better, ensuring that the training and equipment are adequate, ensuring that access to the healthcare, a woman wants to go to the hospital and she has to cross 
um, a canoe, that a, a, a body of water, that is not good enough. Those things have to be looked at, as well as educating women, letting them know that their rights are important, letting them know that they have the rights to their bodies. All those issues are needed to eliminate um, maternal deaths. In those around beds, delivery, and the rest of them, they should always seek the help that they deserve and speak up when they need help. Because it's, a, it's sometimes we don't normally talk about the things that really endanger us and things that really affect us. But when we begin to speak up and also go, out, go for our natal cares, one, when we are pregnant, when we receive all the necessary um, uh, information and awareness and you know, knowledge that we need to ensure that our pregnancy journey is smooth and you know, delivery is safe, there will be reduced number of mater uh, maternal mortality. So my, my advice to every woman that can hear me is that, one, being a mother is the am most amazing gift you can ever, you know, <clears throat> that nature can ever give you. And you have to take your maternal health very seriously. You know, take your antenatal care seriously, take all the advices that doctors give, give out seriously, take every information that you receive from health practitioners and providers seriously. Because that, the, uh, the health practitioners cannot do it alone. It's one thing for them to educate, it's another for us to absorb and make use of those information. So when we collaborate with them that way, then we we'll definitely reduce the number of um, by implementing their advice and recommendations of medical professionals, Nigeria can work towards ensuring safer maternal health outcomes for all women. During the summer... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.